utterly fed up with this. As much as I like this little figure, it's just impossible to mend once that tail thing... It must be because of the white plug inside. I've used this super glue. It wouldn't... It does not stick it. It's meant to stick everything. It doesn't stick it. As you can see, it's still undetached. Also, that wing on her arm, that bat wing type thing, Thing came unstuck. I've managed to stick that back but it's left a white mark. I don't know how long it's going to stay in place so I'm sorry I haven't got in a very adequate camera. I'm doing the best I can here but that is just... I'm going to have to stick sellotape around it to keep it in place. I'm guessing it must be the white plug inside that's used to keep that thing in that nothing on earth will stick it. The wood glue that usually... Do, the PVC wood glue that won't stick it and the super glue won't stick it. And um, I don't know what other glue I can try. Apparently hot glue is no good for these, and I haven't got any anyway. So whoever designed this, yeah, but they should have made sure it was um, break-proof, because I didn't even use any force. I was just touching it slightly, and that blade thing fell off her arm, and I don't know how long. I'm frightened to touch, frightened to touch her, and there's no way on earth I can get her bodice back on, so she's going to just have to stay like this. And I, I well... Oh... Oh, goody aunt. Yeah. Oh. Trying to... I'm going to have to stick sellotape around it. So that's all I've got to say on the matter. So, as nice as the figure actually is, it's just useless. Because, yeah, words fail me. Sorry, but they really do. The frustration of trying to get this thing mended. Oh, my goodness. These are nice. By Rhea, I do believe. They're lovely. Quite nice, isn't it? Wish you could still buy these petunia. Um, you know the petunia. What was this shimmer powder? I found this in. Right, this is a few hours later now, and um, that is, I'm frightened to touch her in case something else falls off. But that does seem to have stuck now, and I, I'm, I've got, I want, I'm just want to put her back in the box and leave her there. Then I'll be frightened to take her out again. And um, I'm certainly not going to try and put her bodice back on, which I did want. I wanted her to have her bodice on, but you had to take it off to remove the plastic that's wrapped around her underneath. But um, if I had somewhere to, to display her properly, um, I will, but at least that's back on for now. And then it, I had paint, I painted it with a bit of a dark, very dark blue, almost black nail polish, because it left a white mark on that, where that wing thing, it blade type weapon thing is on her arm. So, yeah, she's nice, but um, I had such problems with this one. The other one was okay, the original one, but this is the limited edition one. Nice, though. Well, we've had a quick change of outfit for Marga here in Marlies. On Marlies first and then Marga. So here's Mar Marlies's new outfit and her shoes. And that's it from the back. A halter back top. And here's Marga in her new outfit. So that's the hair I added to her after someone had cut loads of it off. I've got a video about that on my doll channel if anyone's interested. But um yeah, so that's her in her new outfit. I'm sorry if that's a bit too dark to be seen properly. There's little somebody waiting. She's had her food on her tatty teddy dish, but she always has it on her tatty teddy dish on a Saturday. In Marks and Spencer's stay, my cheese scone and my black pepper to go on it. And my cup of pot of Earl Grey. Just been to the Doda phone shop. Let's go at home. With my black pepper. Well, I didn't have a gap, but... If it was empty, I had to go and get another one for my tea scones.
got this bra in Marks and Spencer's. I had to do my usual thing of trying it on in the store over my, over my top. But um, there's two of them here, you see, and uh, they're like t-shirt bras. And um, so, yeah. Well, you can't do like my bangle. Pristine. It's tiny as well. It's not a dandelion. It's a tiny little thing. I like these. They're beautiful. Most beautiful. Are they Alconet or Borage? I think they're Borage. Aren't they lovely? I love blue flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. Aren't they lovely? They're so pretty. They're lovely. Isn't that lovely? It's ragwort, which they, if, if some of these idiots had their way would be totally eliminated, and yet this is the sole food plant of the cinnabar moth. It will go extinct without this. And it's so bright and cheerful. Just keep horses away from it. That's all. So pretty. So you get this and the councils leave it and then you get ignorant members of the general public that get in touch and say, get rid of it, it's untidy, we want it all gone. And the councils think, oh, well, we've got to please people. For goodness sake, put the environment first. Thank goodness for these kids that are, and that girl that's hopefully going to do some good in the world. Here's Bella Bow's Princess Party. Oh, I haven't got this one, but I'm not going to get her. I don't feel motivated. Yes. Nippy Lulu Valentine. I like this one. Rihanna Radio. Who's the others? Oh, she's quite cute. Oh, this is the one I want. They haven't got her. She looks interesting too, but that one's all right, but no, I'm not going to get all of them. That's nice, I'm going to get this, I know I've got it already, but I like these throws. I've got this one as well, but um, I'm not going to get that again. I'm going to get this in Asda to eat. It's ready to eat now. I've got quite a few things as well. This looks quite nice. night and I'm um, still daylight so that's nice. It was the longest day yesterday. I think I'm going to call this one Marika and the pink haired mermaid one that came with her I think she can be Merrin because I hadn't named these two. I believe this one I found out today is um, Melinda and there's her twin. Uh, President Trump's wife's name, uh, but I'd already named her before President Trump became President Trump. There's Vida Video Girl. I can't remember her name now. Melania. Oh dear. And Melinda. Yeah. There's Faith in her other outfit. I've got to do something with these dresses because the straps have come undone. Because that looks nice on her counterpart, Shirelle. I'm having to record on the very low setting. I just used a few um, clips from my. I just inc inserted a few clips that I filmed on this in my latest video that I'm trying to upload at the moment. And I started uploading it at one o'clock this afternoon and it's now oh, nearly half past six and it's got an hour and hour and ten minutes remaining. So that's how long, because the video with just a tiny few clips from here is two and a half gigabytes long. 
and normally mine are about 500 megabytes because I put it at the lowest setting on the camera that I'm using because I just can't deal with this taking hours and hours and hours on end. It's ridiculous. And um, so we've even got the bubbles. I can't do anything else online because everything else freezes because it's just driving me mad. I'm going to have to go out and leave it, which I don't like having to do. And um, this is why my videos, they might not be such good quality, but I can upload them in about an hour. And it takes about uh, up to an hour to make it with Windows Live Movie Maker. I had to leave it last night making the video. And it's, it's only a few clips in there that the entirety of the video mainly is filmed with this camera that I'm using. But that's just a few clips from this. So talk about despairing. Small haul from the Nisa shop, the peppered steak slice, the walls. I don't think it's quite as nice as the Ginster's one. These, vanilla, they're nice. Minced beef and onion. Nan's rough oat cakes. Oh, my dear little dog that died. He used to love those. And the mint. Lint. Blue me, looks like he's sitting on Bogita. But who's not? Yes, it was fun. Lovely sunset tonight. Camera's not really picking it up, but it's lovely. Oh, it's a lovely sky. It's about ten o'clock at night. It's about ten o'clock at night. Look how nice the rose looks, my superstar. Nice summer evening. Well, we've had some change of outfits again, <coughs> as you can see. So here's Shirelle, and I put this dress on her, and Faith, the other Sparkle girl, Sparkle Beach, she's got this dress on, because they're bigger on top, so it fits those more than it does these regular size Barbies of nowadays, and this is Heidi in her change of outfit, and here's Morgana. Probably all know Morgana by now. If you so, yeah. There, I've gone back to the, I've found some batteries for the camera. I think the pictures are just as good, and this is less than one megabyte. These, um, well, the still images are anyway. But um, I think it's just as good. And these are what this little camera does. May not be as crystal clear, sharp in, that you get in HD, but you know, I don't think you need it really. And I can't just take eight hours to upload something that's ridiculous and five hours to save it when I'm used to no more than an hour usually to upload and about half an hour to save. So, yeah, using this again. And Morgana. Yeah. I like to change, change their outfits up quite a lot. So there we go. She looks rather like Cleopatra, doesn't she? Oh, it's raining again and it's about two in the morning, so it's time I went to bed. Heidi there. There. Oh, I've got to be quick with this HD camcorder because it uses up so much space, as is Sherelle here. Her lovely hair. Well, that suits her colour scheme. It's a shame the shoes are clumpy, but um, she's the only one they actually stay on and fit. So well, I'm not going to take hers off again. <laughs> and uh, so we'll have a look at her Heidi. We've seen her in this before now, I know, but it's nice. A quick look at Faith in her dress. It looks too dark, but when it's um, in the after being edited. It doesn't look too bad when it's in Live Movie Maker, so I'm hoping that you'll be able to see her okay. That's our Faith. Look how pretty she is. So it's a change of scene for her. Very pretty. It's a shame you have to use elastic to keep their shoes on when they've got these sort of, these court shoes, because uh, they just fall off their feet. She's very pretty. And there's Melinda. I'm not going to um, redress her because this dress, you have to put it over her head. It's a halter neck 
hold it back and you, it's already stretched when someone's taken it off and then put it on her again or taken it off another one. See, when they don't undo, so I'm just leaving her in this. Just show her with this, for good measure, with the uh, camcorder. All these different things I use to record, no wonder my videos take so long to put together these days. <laughs> and now Vanya's got her, her other skirt on. It's more suitable for the warmer weather because we've got quite hot and humid at the moment in the middle of the night here with this storm going on raging outside. Oh, that's rather sweet, isn't it? It's the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> that's nice. Oh, as soon as I start using it, the battery indicator starts flashing at me. <laughs> Dear. There's two small girls. There's Marga and Morgana, and there's Alvanya in her new skirt. And Ulyssia has a new headband, for good measure. <laughs> Right, do we need, well, I think we do need the light on, it's a nice, well it's a nice day but it's not sunny, here's um, Vanya in her new skirt, Powerpuff Girls, but um, I've got a nice haul, from Asda and, oh this will be washed out, <laughs> oh, so, yeah. so I'm stopping it and then I'll be back, we just start with looking at the dollies. Um, I know we saw quite enough of her last night probably, but I just thought I'd show how good she looks in this new out this outfit I've chosen for her. Cleopatra-ish, and there's our girl in her Powerpuff skirt. And um, here's the two Sparkle Girls, two Sparkle Beach Girls in their new outfits. Nice Mary Jane shoes and um, two of the dresses. They're too big for all the other Barbies today. They don't fit them, especially this this blue one. But that looks nice on Shirelle here. And this is Faith. So that's the two Sparkle Beach girls. And here's our Heidi in her, her new dress. And her hair's gone wavy. This is the trouble. So they have to be stacked up against the others, the other dolls. They're stacked up against the others, like so. So then the gravity makes them slide downwards and their hair ends up like pushed up. And it, that's what makes it all wavy when it's meant to be straight. That's really annoying. Especially when they've got longer hair, like Marlise, for example. I can't even see at the moment. She's there somewhere. Let's just put those back. Oh. Uh, she's going to push Lumi over. He's falling down. Dear. Right, Marks and Spencer's haul. These two nail polishes I got. The Nails Ink. Jubilee Muse. That's the blue one. And Knightsbridge Court. Tells you on the back there. And that's the sort of a uh, bottleish green one. Just give you a quick swatch of each, as you can see. Covers well in one coat. That's the green. So that's going to cover in one coat. It's not as odor nil ish as I thought it was going to be, so it's a bit of a disappointment. I've got colours like that before. I do like this colour, I must admit. I wonder if this is going to be the same as Beth's Blue by Models Own. And Bikini Sotini by Essie. I, I do like that sort of periwinkle colour. So this one looks like it might be a little... It might cover in one coat, but on the other hand it looks like it could be a bit streaky. And um, a lot of nail polishes I usually use more than one coat. I also got these bras. There's a pack of two from m &S. I'm not going to try it on for you now. <laughs> well, I suppose I could. I'm always doing that, but um, it's a t-shirt bra. Yeah, and uh, so that's that. Now from Asda, 
quite a lot of things I got from Asda. Another from George, one of those uh, George necklace. I like the coral with it. This, I think this is a coffee bean. It looks like a coffee bean. Yeah, the other way around, let's just say. <laughs> the coffee beans, because they're coffee, they're like on the top, they look like coffee beans. So, oh, yeah, coffee beans. I like the coral. I like the coral, that's what I like, the coral. So, some two little nice hair clips from George Asper. I'm going to tip this bag upside down. Ooh! It's a perfume, pink meringue. I like to see the cut. We're not sure. I did show it with the camera when I was in there, but um, I'm afraid this video is probably going to take hours and hours and hours to to save in Windows Live Movie Maker because some of the clips are using that blue webcam that I I showed. This webcam. And because um, that's why I put it away all those years ago. But as this little camera, I can use this in HD if I want to. But I usually have it set on the really lowest setting. And I got this for nothing. I got it from eBay years ago. The sensor's faulty because it make, if you try and take a still image outside, it comes out pure white. So it was only eleven pound. But I was got refunded and never paid anything for it. And this has lasted longer than any other digital camera. I mean that really good one I had, the Olympus, that only lasted a year. It had incredible zoom, like twelve, twelve times zoom. It had. I could zoom in really close for things on a long distance, as long as you held it still enough, you could get good pictures. But yeah, only lasted a year. And then my Nikon one. After a month, the battery door wouldn't shut underneath, and the batteries kept falling out. And I had to have continuous elastic bands tied round it. Whereas this poor little thing, I've dropped it. The battery doors on the sides anyway. So if, on the Nikon, they're under, underneath. So gravity, of course, is going to make them fall out. I've dropped this loads of times. Once I was picking up people's rubbish, dropped the camera, and the battery door was jammed and twisted somehow so that I couldn't shut it. And then when I did, it, the camera wouldn't work. But it sort of writes itself again, and now it's fine. The only thing that doesn't work on it was um, the time and date doesn't stay on there now after I got seawater in it a couple of years or a year ago. Anyhow, these from Asda. They're nice in the kids' section. This dress was reduced. It says damage, but I looked carefully and I can't see any damage on it. And it's too big for me, but I like... If the weather is going to be hot again, like it was last year, I shall need something that I can wear that's, you know, pretty loose. And uh, I can't muck around moving back like I used to because I have to have the external monitor plugged in now, as you know. And um, so, yeah, so that was quite nice, that dress. This is the top. I went to the one of the self-service checkouts. It was that they were nearly closing. It was, um, it was nearly time for them to close late at night. And um, I went to this, because there's always buses. I went to the self-service checkout. I did walk part of the way back. I bought that bag, put it on there, and then I bought pie the quiche that I bought put that on there didn't recognize it and it kept even though it was on there so I thought what a waste of time so I went to a checkout after all and then I had to wait there was some old man buying one thing in front of me and he took ages and then this lady that served me she folded everything meticulously to put it back and um she went she was folding everything and I said oh you're folding I, I just with me I'm just oh yeah and throw it in the bag I said to her, I said, oh, I said, I don't, I don't do that. And she, she said, oh, yes, oh, yes, a fold. And I said, oh, Marie Kondo would have a nervous breakdown if she came to, t <laughs> because she wouldn't be able to change me. Because I don't care if something's folded or not. It doesn't really bother me. I mean, as long as it's, you know, a lot of things nowadays don't crease much anyway. But um, if something does crease, and I know it does, then I will make efforts to keep it. See this one, you know, that does, that's not going to crease. That's why I made a reaction video against all this. I get fed up with this because so once something takes off, it becomes the zeitgeist, doesn't it? And it's all you ever hear about. And of course, she's written more books now. It's nice how someone can make a living from a mental illness, isn't it? Power to her. She's made a living from her mental illness. 
And the people say, oh, she hasn't got a mental illness. She has, actually. She admits that herself. So, you look into her, her biography and her history. Yes, you find out she, when the other kids were at school playing, she'd be in, going in tidying up the classrooms and putting things away and arranging. And then she thought her room was untidy one day, so she passed out. And when she came round, she heard a voice. So, yeah, this is all in her, what she's t admitted herself. Anyhow, if I lived in a much bigger house, I'd have a walk-in wardrobe and I'd, I'd have, um, a, you know, I wouldn't need a room for shoes because I don't have many, but um, I'd have a room for dolls. <laughs> but when you collect things and you live in a small space, you're constantly having to explain yourself to people or defend yourself to people who disapprove. And you know, what business is it of theirs is not interfering with anyone else? I get it a lot. My friend's the worst offender, he's constantly going on, and he lives in a tip, so yeah. Anyway, these are two for four pound. The orange and the pink. Oh, there's clashing colours there, all right, aren't there? Now this, I know I ramble, but it's nerves. I, this, I believe I could wear as a skirt or a top. It's, I think it's a top. It's, oh, hang on, are we up too high? It's a top. But you could wear it as a skirt if you wanted to. So, yeah. And uh, au revoir, au revoir for now. Where's the stop button? Ooh. Oh, and hello from Toys of the Us Elephant. We haven't seen him for a long time, have we? <laughs> no, we haven't. But he fell down the other night, so he's back in the land of the living. But the, the Sainsbury's Teddies is out of sight, <laughs> but, mo but not out of mind at the moment. Oh, look at them, he's so cute. I just thought I'd show you the bra, what it looks like on. It's leopard print, as you can see, a pink one. Try not to show too much of myself. So that's that one. Oh, we're recording now. Oh dear. Right, there's the other one. Oh, the other one, the um, maroon one. I just wanted to quickly show you the eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I know I showed them in my last video with the camera, but I thought I'd show you with the webcam, but we're dark. Hang on. Now, these are the one, this is the one I saw first, the green one, when I was in Superdrug a week, week ago. And um, I rather liked this, so let me open it and I'll show it to you. So it looks like inside. There's the colours. Oh. See them? I like the packaging, and this one is the peanut butter cup. See, there's the colours. They're very nice. They don't give you a brush with them, but I've got one I got from Poundland, which is perfectly usable. So, yeah. I forgot to show the bracelets I got from Asda as well. Quite nice. This is a nice dark blue one. And there we are. Well, this is a bit later now. I completely forgot to show you these. These jellyfish. I had to get them. They're very heavy. I mustn't drop them on my laptop. But they're lovely. Um, they glow in the dark as well. I haven't actually seen them glowing in the dark yet, but I'm reliably informed they do. And also, there's another one. I don't know if you can see that. And all those little sparkles glow in the dark as well. Yeah. So pretty. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And there's another one. And this one just has a bubble in the middle. And all those little gold glimmers and filaments and whatever you call them, they glow, oh, they all glow in the dark apparently. So isn't it lovely? 